So have you been watching The Biggest Loser? Oh my gosh, yes. You know I never miss it. I love that show. Yeah. What do you think about this week's episode? I was so pissed. They voted, Trent actually offered to go. Did you see it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was so mad because he was my favorite. I was really pulling for him to win. Oh. But now I think, you know, I'm kind of going with Roger because, mm -hmm. you know, because he seems like a good guy too. Yeah. So. I would love to go on that show. Really? Yeah. You know, they're casting right now. Are they really? Yeah, but it's couples. I don't have anybody that would probably go with me. You know what? My cousin would probably go with you. Really? Yeah, she lives in Portland. I'll give her a call. That'd be cool. Hello. Hey, Cindy. It's Denise. Hi, Denise. Hey, um, I just went and got my hair done today, and I was talking to my hairdresser, and we were talking about The Biggest Loser, and you watch that show, right? I watch it all every week. Well, you know, they're, they are casting right now for couples, and she would really like to go on it. She has about 100 pounds to lose, but she doesn't have anybody to do it with. What do you think? Uh, that's awesome. You do that's, it? I would love to do it. I know you guys would get along. You guys are so much alike. I know you guys would have so much fun together. Oh, that's great. When can I meet her? Maybe this weekend. I'll give you a call and we'll make arrangements for it. Okay, that's super. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Okay, okay. bye. Well, now that we've met, we should probably get to know each other a little better. Yeah, we should. Mm. What makes you competitive? I mean, what makes you think you'd be the best, biggest loser? I have a lot of drive in me. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty, um, I'm kind of a go-getter. Um, that's why I want to do it. Uh, I just, I'm pretty reliable. You can ask my friends, and I'm very honest. Um, but obviously not enough with myself. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think I, I'm very loyal, too. So you can count on me. Cool. Well, I'm one of those kind of people that don't when somebody says to me, you can't do that, I'm going to prove them wrong. Mm -hmm. If uh, one time I did a marathon training and somebody told me, or three people told me that I couldn't finish the marathon, and I proved them wrong, and I was 230 pounds when I did it, but I did every step of it. I have a lot of tenacity, so I do not give up. Mm -hmm. I am an athlete wannabe. Mm -hmm. I just need to learn how to, to incorporate that into my life and incorporate in better eating habits. Mm -hmm. And I think this would be the greatest opportunity for both of us, actually. Mm -hmm. And I'm a very positive person about things, and I feel like my inside does not match my outside. So I'm ready to strip that off, if you will. Get her done. <laughs> Let's get her done! Get her done! <laughs> the other day goes, I think you should go on The Biggest Loser. What have you got to lose? And I go, a hundred pounds. A hundred pounds? Hi, I'm Jennifer Johansson. I'm 35 years old and I live in Longview, Washington. And I think I would be a great candidate for The Biggest Loser because 2007 was my year of letting go of a lot of things. I let go of some uh, toxic relationships, I let go of a lot of fear, and now I'm kind of uh, thinking I need to embrace a more positive way of life to enrich my life even more and the people around me and be a positive influence. Hopefully I can inspire somebody else. Um, I'm a hairdresser so I see lots of people every day and I hope that they can see, you know, results of what I've done and it'll inspire them. Inspire them today instead of 10 years down the road. Why wait? I mean, so I just feel like this 2008 is my year. My goal is to 
get the outside of myself to match the way I feel on the inside. And it's going to take some work, but I'm ready to do it. B-I-G-G-E-S-T-L-O-S-E Our Biggest Loser! Sometimes I'm afraid and I don't feel that tough But I'll stand back up Hi, my name is Cindy Stanton Brown. I'm 49 years old and I'm from Portland, Oregon. I've been in the hospitality industry since I was 16 years old and I manage a small little hotel over in Vancouver, Washington, which is just on the other side of the river from Portland. Uh, my story is that for the last nine years I've been very um, tied up with taking care of a lot of my family. My mom got sick nine years ago with cancer and I took care of her I took care of my dad and my brother, my brother-in-law, and then my, fa my husband passed away eight months ago. I've buried them all, took care of them, while I was taking care of my children, trying to raise them in a way that they wouldn't be affected by the chaos that was going on in my own personal life, allowing them a normal childhood to grow up and be able to participate in things that um, normal kids get to do. Now my kids are in college. Um, one is almost graduating and going off to college. One is already in college. And I feel like it's time for me to focus on myself um, and try to reinvent myself and define who I am. Um, I've been overweight pretty much since I had my son. Um, and it's something that I really feel like I need to overcome. Uh, my brother was 40 years old when he had a stroke. Um, he got diabetes from being overweight and at 49 years old he died from another stroke because he couldn't manage his food. And I don't want to die. <laughs> I don't want to die that young. I want to be able to enjoy my children and my family and be able to see my grandchildren. So I've been to hell and back. Bob and Jillian, so bring it on. I am your biggest loser. Pounds a piece. We want to get rid of this really, really bad.